ideas here. represent a broad cross-section of the black community, public housing residents to scholars at Harvard University. And we've been greatly concerned that despite a 20 years of an arms race, ALMS, which resulted in a 25-fold increase in federal expenditures to address the needs of the poor, we find that one-third of the black community is in danger of becoming an underclass. And we think that the reason that this condition exists because many of the programs uh, that were intended to help the poor had made conditions worse, created a mass of dependent people, and therefore we as responsible black citizens have come together over the past few years and studied solutions to some of these problems. And we have been outlining them to, uh, to, the, to the, those assembled here. And some of these solutions include the uh, assisting us in increasing the small business formation rates in black communities that account Small businesses count for 80% of all new jobs. Uh, Japanese Americans have 30% of them in business for themselves and have the lowest unemployment compared to 8% for black community. So therefore, one of the keys to participating in the economy is the increase in small business formation rates. So we have been discussing uh, proposals to make, uh, provide incentives for risk capital to be invested in these areas. In the area of family preservation, we have about 300,000 youngsters who are uh, trapped in the foster care system at a cost of $2 billion annually. 80% of this money goes to professional service providers. The mortality rate for these kids are twice the national average, and 30% uh, of them end up in prison. So we're incubating tomorrow's criminals at public expense. So we have recommendations to change that. And finally, in the area of education, we're asking that the administration support uh, vouchers that will empower low-income parents to establish their own independent schools, as 300 of them have around the country, and to give them the same options as uh, public school teachers. Since 48% of public school teachers have their youngsters in pr private schools, we're trying to give poor black parents the same options being exercised by uh, public school teachers. <laughs> Those are some very interesting figures, <laughs> believe me. So that's a capsule. Well, well, I'm delighted that you have them. And I'm, uh, believe me, I could add a few more figures to that. I know the intentions were good. says you're not going to meet your own targets for the out years. Well, maybe I'm keeping the target secret. <laughs> but 2% sir, in, in fiscal, fiscal 88. We're still working on the whole thing, Sam. We haven't come up officially, but that's why we're talking to ladies and gentlemen like these today, too. 
for a little help. Life's good. Thank you. Thank you. Pay that for me. <laughs> <laughs> easy come, easy go. Wait, let me know. Are we free to answer that? <laughs>
those relations that we have to the country.
the green for something different, uh, try to get something to change, and you're able to bring about a result that I think included all the items that you uh, were interested in. But uh, mainly I think we wanted to have a chance for the delegation to, as a whole, to sit down with you, as a few of us have had that privilege, and uh, to express our appreciation to you for the leadership that you've given us ever. George, it's for me to express my appreciation to all of you and for what you accomplished over there. I know this is going to be a very brief meeting, but I thought that that would be a welcome change after the duration of the meeting you've been attending. But, been mm -hmm. but uh, I do just want to thank personally each one of you. I know that uh, internally uh, there were a variety of viewpoints, but outside and publicly uh, you presented a unified front. The Soviets have been brought back to the negotiating table. I don't have any euphoria that that's going to be easy, or any easier than meetings that you've been in, but uh, they are there due to the fact that you faced them with the United Front, and uh, I just, I can't tell you how deeply grateful I am, and I think that goes for the good feeling that we have throughout the country, the people, We've been used sometimes in the past to not being sure that uh, we really had everything buttoned up when we went abroad. Now, I have a great sense of pride in American diplomacy, and it was American diplomacy at its best. And 